Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City, where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. In this video, I'm going to show you what a 30,000 piece custom Lego city looks like. This is actually just one section of my Lego city. I've got four sections in all, but in this video, we're going to concentrate on this section. It's called Brick Beach and it's a tourist beach town. 30,000 bricks doesn't sound a lot for a Lego city, but when you consider the space that this occupies, two and a half feet by six feet wide, it's a lot of bricks in such a small place. But I personally believe that variety and density are very important in a great Lego city. Most of the techniques I use, as well as tips and tricks, are shared in my book, Bricks for Small Places. You can pick this up from smallbrickcity.com shop. And while you're at it, you can also pick up my Lego creativity book. It's called Do Not Disturb Building in Progress. So do check these out. Let's get on with the video and we'll start off with this section of the city right over here. This is the Town Square Park and can be considered the heart of Brick Beach. Overlooking the park is Main Street and sitting on Main Street is the Town Hall. Main Street is the only main road into Brick Beach. It ends in a dead end, which is Brick Point, and no vehicles can get onto the road except for city vehicles, such as the city bus you see on the right of the screen. And you alight at the final bus stop, which is right over here, and it shares the space with an information counter where you can ask for tourist directions as well as book tourist attractions. You can also come to this landing over here, which is just above the memorial, and you can take photographs and look down onto the town park. That there are two ways to get down to the park. One is by a lift on the side and the other is by this flight of stairs over here. Walk down the stairs and get to the park and you'll get to the fair that's currently going on. There's a toy stall over here where kids are all in front, really excited to see the toys. There's a hamburger grill and over here we have a baker's store. And in the corner we have a carousel where lots of kids are playing and that's the ticket counter right in front and it's currently open. It looks like there's a party going in front of the stalls. Actually, this is a gathering of friends. If you recognize some of these minifigs, it's because they're sick figs of fellow LEGO YouTube channels or their subscribers to Small Brick City. I'm not gonna name everyone, but if you recognize yourself, please give yourself a shout out in the comments. Or if you recognize anyone, you can give them a shout out as well. If you don't see your sick fig here, it probably means I didn't have the parts to put your sick fig together. A lot of the sick figs you see here were mailed to me by the individuals. I have created several sick figs of different subscribers over time. However, if you haven't been active on the channel for some time, I will remove you to give space to other more active subscribers. I've got two new subscribers over here who are featured in Brick Beach. And in green, we have Noah, and in blue, we have Elliot Bricks. Welcome to Small Brick City, guys. Here's a top view of the Town Square Park, and let's head back up towards the information counter. Remember, I mentioned there are two ways to get down to the Town Park. One is by the staircase over here, and on the other side, there's a lift, generally for the disabled or maybe you have a bicycle. But it looks like a mother has sent her baby with her pram down the elevator and she's remained on the landing. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe she thinks this is a ride because she saw the carousel. But never mind, let's leave her alone and let's go up to see the bus on Main Street. Looks like there's a commotion going on. There are lots of cops milling around and it looks like there's a musician lying on the ground and he's been hit by the bus or pinned under the bus. He's got his guitar in one hand and he's got something in the other hand. This is not a letter, but it's actually a fortune that he got from Zolta, the fortune telling machine, which is right over here. So he wanted his fortune told, he put in some money and Zolta told him that he would experience a big hit. Now, being a musician, he thought he's going to score big on the billboard charts, but his big hit turned out to be hit by the bus. I'm sure he'll be okay. Let's have a look behind the bus. This is the fire brigade. Uh, nothing special going on if you look above, but if you look down below, there's actually something pretty ironic going on. Let me first remove the bus. And now you can see what's going on. The fire brigade is on fire and all the firemen and women are trying to put it out. I think that's pretty funny and I thought a funny scene for a fire brigade. Next to the fire brigade is the town hall, which you saw earlier. 
and next to the town hall is the palace cinema or in my case it's the palace theater the cinema is actually on the top floor now it's an outdoor cinema and on the second floor there's an illusionist who performs there remember brick beach is a tourist attraction or destination after all so that's why there is a live show we've got the souvenir stand next to the zolta fortune telling machine and here we have the joe mcleod idol and family when we last saw them in a previous video, they were lost in Metro City trying to look for Brick Beach. Well, it seems they found Brick Beach, but they're now trying to find Destiny's Bounty. Well, hopefully, they'll find it before it closes. And next to them, I think something's interesting going on. We have a lady who's about to step onto something nasty. We've got a man who's trying to clean up after his dog. And his dog has just made friends with a cat. Well, maybe the lady would have been more careful if she saw this sign over here. And there's actually a warning sign uh, for a dog. Maybe it should be on the other side so she can see it. What you see here is the end of Main Street. And this is a very popular tourist attraction called Brick Point. It's defined by this very well-known and iconic water fountain. People like to take photographs here and they like to check out the view because you get a really scenic view of the tourist beach below as well as the Asian village across. And I'll get to those later on. But first, I'd like to call your attention to this sign. It says Mount Clutchmore and there's an arrow pointing right because technically you can walk past the Palace Theatre and walk to Mount Clutchmore. But in my city layout, I don't have Mount Clutchmore built. You have to imagine it as my display only stops at the Palace Theatre. But I bring it up because I have another sign down in the beach below for Mount Clutchmore as well. One nice thing about this end of Main Street is that you get a back entrance to the Persian restaurant. We've got a custom bridge built and there's a menu and even someone to greet you at the door if you want to come into the restaurant. We're back at the Town Square Park because this leads to the front of the very popular Persian restaurant. Always crowded, there's a hiker over there and a hapless guy who's about to slip on a banana peel once again and I think he's actually going to hurt himself even more. The Parisian restaurant leads to a pathway which brings you to the main tourist beach. And you can see the sign for swimming. That means it's safe for swimming. Although we do see a large whale who's just breached the surface and there's a totally oblivious diver over here. But don't worry, we have lifeguards around. There's a sign which I'd like to call your attention to. One wooden sign says Lego City. The other is Mount Clutchmore and it's currently being replaced or maybe it's being maintained and it's going to be put up on the signpost and it leads you to Mount Clutch Mall. It's going to lead you down the path of the beach in the same direction as you were to walk for the Palace Theatre one level above. I noticed a guy over here. Did you notice him? There's this very shady character just standing over there. What do you think he's doing? Hmm, it looks like there's a puddle of yellow liquid forming on the ground in front of him. This is a surf shop where you can buy and rent equipment. There's a surfboard rack over here. There's a nice 3D surface sign in front. And on the other side of this surf shop is a rock climbing wall. That's why you see an instructor on top. And this is a handyman trying to fix the air conditioning unit. The beach itself is full of activity as you expect on any tourist beach. With people building sand castles, enjoying the sun, swimming. And there's a boat docked where people are fishing behind. There's a lifeguard on duty. And these are holiday homes and there's even people playing volleyball on the beach. From this side of the beach, we can see the Asian village across the water. This comprises of the Ninjago City and the Ninjago City docks. And this is my expanded set of the docks where I took the Chinese New Year's Eve dinner set and reconfigured them to create two new floors for this tower. I also added an additional level for this middle section over here. If you want to check out the expansion project, do follow the link in the description below. I created many different scenes throughout the Ninjago City and the city docks, but one of my favorite scenes is this one right over here, where we have a blind man who's walking on the breakwater and he looks like he's about to walk off the breakwater and fall into the sea. From the front, we can see this side of Ninjago City and we can see the Destiny's Bounty docked behind it. Destiny's Bounty in Brick Beach is a tourist attraction and visitors can board the ship and take a tour to learn more about the historic vessel. Let's have a quick look at the rest of the city from this vantage point. Now there must be something interesting going on in Ninjago City, so let's take a closer look. 
Because if we zoom in, on the second floor, I think there's something shady going on. There's a kid who's trying to buy a packet of sugar from what looks like to be a bad guy. Kids, please do not buy sugar from strangers because you can get in trouble. And in fact, there's a police officer coming by. So probably that kid is going to get into a lot of trouble. Here we have a guide giving a tour to a group of visitors and that's Darius Dojo. He's telling them all about the adventures of the Destiny's Bounty. And behind the ship to the corner, there's also a lighthouse. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Brick Beach. It took a lot of time to put together, but I think it's worth it. Which is your favourite scene or place in Brick Beach? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Check out these two videos before you go.